Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix welcoming you to episode 42 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, I did the fishing stuff and got a heart piece, and in this episode, I'm going to be doing some other crap. Like bombing out a hole around here, where I will be finding another heart piece for you lovely people today. So anyways, you come down here, and there's this weird area. There's one tektite over there, actually. And I, I want to avoid him. I said avoid him. I'm trying to dive here. Thank you. And there's a heart piece at the bottom of this. You cannot get this without the golden scale or another certain item that we'll be collecting later. And that is our fourth heart piece. Completing another heart container. Our maximum life energy is now 12. And now it's at 12 and a half. I mean 11 and a half out of 12. Thanks to that tektite. Jeez. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Anyways, so yeah, that's that heart piece out of the way now. So now I think I'm gonna go to Kakariko Village and try to find that stupid hole that I failed, that I epically failed within the first two minutes of finding last time. So I'll see you then. In short, I looked for a good three minutes or so and I could not find that hole. Maybe I just imagined it or something. Wouldn't that be awesome? But anyways, I guess I'm just gonna give it up for now. And instead, I'm since I'm already here, I'm gonna start this trading sequence. I bred a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the pocket cuckoo. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Well, that's a miracle. You should sell them. And cuckoos are very good at getting lazy light riders out of bed. Haven't you heard them before? It makes them very happy to crow. Cuckoo! Sorry, that was a fail. Cuckoo! Because there's people upstairs. I don't want to be too loud. Especially when it wakes up a heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You. You look like you're good at handling cuckoos. Uh, that could be taken very perversely. Here, take this egg. After the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me in a, after a while, and I'll check out its mood. What do you think? Will you try? Sure. And we get the pocket egg. It looks exactly like the weird egg. It's not even any smaller. How is it a pocket egg? Well, basically, um, you can play the song of the sun song twice to hatch that egg because it'll hatch at sunrise of the next day. No, don't pull that out, you stupid. The hole's not around here. Man, I wasted a lot of bombs looking about the hole. Seriously, you can probably just tell by my bomb count how fa how much fail I did. And see a chicken hatching the egg you were incubating. It's the miracle of life. Recycle text for loss. Anyways, we're gonna pull out this pocket cuckoo here. And... To, and what you're gonna want to do with this cuckoo is, since the lady said it makes it happy to make to get late risers out of bed, we're gonna go look for a late riser. And it happens that there happen that there is a late riser in here by the name of Talon. Why aren't you at the ranch, Talon? I don't know. And he goes, "What in tarnation? Can't a person get a little shut eye around here?" Again, recycled text for the loss. Ingo took over Long Long Ranch and then called it Ingo Ranch nowadays. I was kicked out of there and took me and took and look at me now. My girl Malin still works at the ranch. I'm worried about her. You just abandoned your daughter? What a jackass. Oh my god. Just go in there and take your daughter. Don't you have like child rights or something? I don't know. People in this day and age. Just stealing people's daughters right from underneath their noses. Please make my cuckoo happy, okay? I think I did. Here, I'll show it to you. Oh, your cuckoo looks pretty happy. He must have awakened an extremely lazy guy. He did indeed. You're good at keeping coo You're a good cuckoo keeper. I'll give you this rare, valuable cuckoo aid if you're interested. It, its name is Kohiro, and you and he used to be my brother's cuckoo. Uh, hold on just a second. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, its blue body is quite charming. It's so cute. So cute indeed. Just like that little blue cat on that one commercial for Smarties. Since my brother is gone, it's strange, but Kohiro has stopped crowing. Oh no. Do you want to keep Kohiro? Sure. And we get Kohiro. Oh, I have such a strong urge to call him <laughs> by to say that name the same way that uh someone else does. You probably know who I'm talking about. But anyways, what you're gonna want to do with that Kohiro is take him to the Lost Woods, actually. I know you're probably wondering, what the heck? Like, what in the heck are you doing, you silly person? You silly Argon Matrix? Well, I don't know what I'm doing. 
be honest. I'm just fucking around. Sorry for the language, but that's really all I am doing. Just kidding. I know what I'm doing. This is actually a very, well, not necessarily important side quest, but it's fun. I like it. And after this, um, I'm not sure that I want to be doing anything else, except maybe a Skulltula that I can think of. Yes, one Skulltula. I can't think of it for at the moment, actually. Oh, wait. There are actually some in Zora's River, but... Yeah, I could go get those. Why not? But not right now. Because I have to go deliver Kohiro to his owner. Yes, that's what we're doing. The owner is in Lost Woods. And it's not the Skull Kid. I don't know what happened to the Skull Kid. I don't think he even exists anymore. Maybe he went to, to, to Termina or something. More on that later. Much, much, much later. Anyways, um, how much time do we have left? Five minutes or so, I think. Not too bad. Why didn't I cut any of that out? I'm so stupid. Anyways, did you just hear that chicken crow right now? That was actually Kohiro, because he crows when he gets close to his owner. And yes, this area is now full of monsters, like that giant ass Deku Baba you just saw, or whatever. Boko Baba, whatever it is. Yeah, it's just infested now. Stupid Ganondorf. He sent his army of evil forest creatures to the forest. What the hell is he thinking? And there's Kohiro crowing again. Take him over here, and you'll find this guy who thinks that everyone's mean to him or something. And he's like, Kohiro? Why? Normally only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means... You. You must be a nice guy. Must be. You must be. Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please. Deliver this stuff to the old lady, to the old tag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. Sure. I have enough time, I think. This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry. Okay. And we get the odd mushroom. A fresh mushroom like this is sure to spoil quick, quickly. Take it to the Kakariko potion shop, quickly. And you have three minutes to walk back to Kakariko. It's not really too hard. Um... Yeah, it's not too hard, and I should be able to do it within my time limit, since my clock says I have a good four, three and a half minutes left. So, maybe I'll just be able to make it, but I'll make it, so. Anyways, let's just keep on rolling. Keep on trucking out here. And I'm not going to cut any of this out, because I just want to... You can just watch my time go down just to make it more realistic, I guess. I know, two trips between Kakariko and Kokiri, and I'm not cutting either of them out. How stupid am I? Maybe it's just to save myself, myself some time on editing, since I already edited out like three minutes of my failure with bombs. Anyways, um, yeah, hopefully, maybe, hopefully I'll be able to find that hole someday. Maybe. Maybe I'll just procure enough rupees somehow. Anyways, looks like we're just gonna have about two minutes left here, and it looks like we have two, good two and a half minutes left. So we're gonna wait like 30 seconds to end off this video. Actually, no, because I'm gonna make it before the time runs out. Don't worry. No, don't read the sign. I know it's Kakariko Village. Stupid. Wow. I think after going here like 20 million times, you'd know what the place is, and that's the passage to Death Mountain. But no. Uh, oh, I hope the potion job is open at night. Otherwise, that'll be a real pain in the ass. It'll set me back quite a bit. Looks like half of our time is up now. And we're almost there already. Wow. Come on. Close until morning. Arr, damn it. Is there another way around there? I'm sure there is, but... I'm just gonna go ahead and play the sun song. Hell, I'm still gonna make it from before the time runs out. And sorry, I just kind of brushed my microphone there. You probably heard that really loud and clearly. A minute ten left. Even though like several hours passed between night and day, no time at all actually passed, according to my stop there. There. Like, oh, what am I doing, dude? Fifty-eight seconds. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. And I only have like a minute left in this recording. I think. I don't know. 
Okay, so you want to run back here past the potion shop, actually, because that's not the potion shop you want to take it to. You want to take it to another potion shop, which is right up here. Open the door. And we'll come over here and show this. No, don't just take it out, Link, you stupid. Actually, show it to the person. It's like, that bum, he had to go into the forest. I see. Hey, give it to me now. Sure. Hurry up, my time's almost out. On YouTube limit time, time li YouTube limit time limit. Yeah. If you see that fool, give this to him. This is the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. Well, I don't think he's a monster, so it's fine. We get the odd potion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah blah blah. Lady, you don't know what's going on between that lady and that guy. No, I do not. And they never explained it either. And there's no cure for a fool or whatever. Anyways, so thank you all for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.